40 years of Raiders of the Lost Ark. Happy anniversary, Indiana Jones. Wanted to show you guys some of my Indiana Jones cards. I don't have many of them, but I do have a few. I've got a couple of pack inserts, and of course, I got a couple of commissions. And I would like to share my love of Raiders of the Lost Ark with you. So let me show you a couple that I already have. And please like, subscribe, make a comment. And let's talk about this wonderful, wonderful movie. One of my favorites, Raiders of the Lost Ark. June 21st, correction, June 12th, 1981 is when the movie came out. And now it's four years later. Today is Saturday. June 20, I can't talk today, sorry, June 12th, 2021, 40 years of Raiders of the Lost Ark. So this is the very first Indiana Jones uh, ca uh, card I ever got. It's an official one. The K there in 08, this is Heritage, Indiana Jones Heritage. That's Killian Plunkett, great artist who became the art director for Star Wars The Clone Wars. And so we have Indiana Jones pencil grayscale on uh, looking at the spider uh, from the very, very beginning. Here's what the backs look like for Heritage. Congratulations, you're now the proud owner of an original hand-drawn piece of art inspired by the Indiana Jones movies. So we got Raiders of the Lost Ark, one of my favorite ones upside down. Love the original trilogy. I love the artwork. This is my favorite type of artwork where it instantly is recognizable from the movie, but it's got some flair, it's got some cool stuff. Love that spider on there. So here's a Killian Plunkett for your viewing pleasure. Okay, so we got that one. And then the next one we've got is another one from Heritage. This is by Mark Brooks. You can see the MP, the MB, that's Mark Brooks. Of course, there was no blank on the back, uh, space on the back of these uh, cards for them to sign, so a lot of them put it on front. This is Colonel Dietrich whenever, uh, at the very end, the grand finale. Uh, of course, you can see his shoulder boards there. Love the art on this. Uh, this is right before his head shrivels. And whenever the Nazis meet their doom by opening up the Ark and looking at the contents inside. So got this one for a really good deal. The artwork is incredible. Love this sketch card by Mark Brooks. So Colonel Dietrich, we'll see. This is like a before picture. Let's see what happens to Colonel Dietrich afterwards, shall we? Okay, and then the only other third uh, official card I have is this one right here. Okay, this one, of course, well... You know who uh, our signature that is. That's Brian Rude, and of course, big Indiana Jones fan. This is a panoramic pano sketch. This is from Masterpieces. You can see that right there, Masterpieces. And here is the back, Indiana Jones Masterpieces. Masterpieces came in singles, but they also had, just like uh, the A New Hope and Empire Strikes Back illustrated panos from the illustrated set, you got the crease down the center. And so uh, I thought this one was really neat too. Picked it up for a good deal a couple of years ago. I wanted to celebrate, do something special for Raiders of the Lost Ark 40th anniversary. So I commissioned a couple of artists uh, to do a couple of sketch cards. Perhaps you've seen some of these sketch cards uh, in some uh, unboxing videos. Maybe you've seen some of them, maybe you haven't. So let me show you a couple that I have. So here we go. Here is a... Indiana Jones. This is uh, on Wishman Works single. Okay, that's Dan Noakes. We got Indy in color. So a little close up of his trusty pistole there. I remember Ben Burt talking about how the Winchester 3030 is actually the sound effect of being fired whenever Indy shoots his pistol because they wanted to have a loud. Uh, authoritative sound. So we've got a little bit here of Dan Noakes in his exaggerated style. And here's another one, the Cairo Swordsman, which of course he just up and shoots with his trusty aforementioned pistoli. And we have to have some baddies. We have to have some bad guys. So here we have Tote. 
Hell, hell, nah. Whenever I was a kid, I thought the line was, feel the lump, because he's got it. He, he picked up Medallion's headpiece to the Staff of Ra, which was in a fire in Marion's bar burning down, and it burned his hand. So I always thought, look at the color on that tie. I sure do like good old Dan Noakes. He does good artwork. I like his exaggerated style a lot. That toe, one of that red background. I think that red really makes that background pop. Okay, here's another one. This is from PJ Katakatan. We have a very good, there's his signature right there. PJ, PJ Katakatan. Very awesome one of Indy opening fire with his revolver that we've been talking about quite a bit. So I really like that sketch card. I really like the lines on Indy's face and a little bit of his five o'clock shadow. All right. And then we have from Austria, we've got the German Mechanic by Art Greyfunkel. I really like the whole fight on the uh, the Nazi wing there, the plane wing sequence. I think that's really, really great. This is a Wishman Works 2020 single. I love uh, Art's style, the background and everything. I think it's really, really neat. So we got that one. Okay, and then we had the before. We had the before tote. And then we have the... dun 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 We've got the face melting tote done by Mandy Greenman on her little signature there, MG21. Love this one. This was an artist choice. This was an artist choice. She did this one on her own. Love it. Love the fire. Love the effects. So Mandy does really, really good work. Mandy Studio Online, her online presence with Facebook and all of that is uh, Dead On Designs. So Google Dead On Designs to check out Mandy's work. Mandy does uh, incredible work. So those are some of the singles. And of co course, we've got these two right here. We have the before and after of Colonel Dietrich. There's before and there's after, of course. Another one done by Mandy Greenman. And then we have this uh, Ingrid Hardy one of uh, the arc being opened. And you can see... Uh, the headdress there with uh, Paul Freeman, who plays Belloc, as he is about to get his just desserts. And, of course, here's the head shrivel for Colonel Dietrich. Once again by Mandy Greenman. Greenman. So, Mandy does some of these gore cards, which I think are very fantastic. Okay, and here is another Art Gray Funkel. Here is a Wide Vision. What sketch card collection would be complete without Wide Visions? We got Marion opening fire with the machine guns on the on the fight on the on the, the fight on the plane wing sequence. Very very cool. And then here is another Mandy Greenman special with Sala saving Indy's life. With the poison monkey, he sees it and throws the date up in the air and he catches it and says, bad dates. Really love the color on this one. Gray scale with a little bit of color in it. I think that's really, really great. Mandy, turn that upside down. Mandy does a great job. Yeah, Mandy is good. Okay, and then we have some panos. We've got another Art Greyfunkel. This was an artist's choice. He chose to do an overhead shot of the famous uh, opening golden temple shot from the very, very beginning. And then another artist's choice of the same.